President Joe Biden met privately with Pope Francis today at the G7 summit in a meaningful moment for the Catholic president. This pope is the first to attend the summit, and he spoke to world leaders about the risks of artificial intelligence and its use in modern weapons. CBS's Nancy Cordes is traveling with the president. A meeting of the minds at the G7 summit, where Pope Francis, who arrived by helicopter this morning, shared his concerns about artificial intelligence. The pontiff urged the world leaders gathered here to establish stronger global guardrails for the development of AI and to ban so-called killer robots altogether. The autonomous weapon systems can choose their targets using sensors with no human guidance at all. We need to ensure proper human control over the choices made by AI programs, he warned. Human dignity itself depends on it. The Pope was an early advocate for ethics in AI. An AI-generated deepfake of him in a white puffer coat went viral last year. In January, a faked Biden robocall told New Hampshire residents not to vote. Your vote makes a difference in November, not this Tuesday. That's just one example of what experts say are the potentially troubling implications for democracy. We're heading into a reality where what we see is not what we can believe because of AI-generated images and video. And that holds particular consequences for our elections, for our trust in political candidates, for our trust in news. Biden issued an executive order last year requiring domestic AI developers to share their safety test results with the U.S. government. One thing is clear. To realize the promise of AI and avoid the risk, we need to govern this technology. And there's no other way around it, in my view. The Pope stressed today that human emotions can never truly be replicated by a computer. And as if to prove that point, he posted this photo from his meeting yesterday with more than 100 comics and comedians. There you see Stephen Colbert, Chris Rock, Jimmy Fallon. He told them that they unite people because laughter is contagious. Nora.